Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? All right, it is the Saints and Bucks Sunday in the Dome. It'll be the uh, the home opener for the Saints. Saints and Bucks both want to know. Uh, the biggest news all week, of course, has been the injury situation for both the Saints and the Bucks. Uh, Todd Bowles, the Saints, uh, excuse me, the Bucks head coach, did give an injury update on Donovan Smith, the starting left tackle who went down with a hyperextended elbow in the opener against the Cowboys. But is there anybody that you know now that's out for this game? Not out. Donovan will be close. Uh... It'll be hard for him to make it, but we'll see. The rest of the guys we'll see on Sunday. And then Chris Godwin, though, has officially now been ruled out. So I wouldn't normally start with the injury report. It's just so significant this week that that's where I want to start as we preview and predict the Saints and the Bucks. So Friday's injury report, um, there was some good news for New Orleans. Let's Let's start there. Um, Cam Jordan was a full participant. Marcus May was a full participant. Landon Young was a full participant. They had all had been limited earlier in the week. Players that are still questionable. Uh, Traquan Smith, Dwayne Washington, um, all list is questionable, as is Jameis, who was limited all week with the back injury, but I think we expect he, he's going to play. Mark Ingram also listed as limited. I'm sorry, as questionable, as is Alante Taylor. The two big ones are Alvin Kamara and Paulson Adebo. Kamara, with the rib injury, did not practice Thursday or again Friday. At this point, I think it has to be stated that it is unlikely Alvin Kamara plays. This is a very clear indicator of why they went and signed Latavius Murray. Murray, present. Earlier this week. You can pay all attention you want to whatever Dennis Allen says about liking the player. We've been watching. No, no, no. Alvin Kamara's got a rib injury. You knew he wasn't going to play. You wanted to have a guy you trusted in the building all week to be able to roll if you needed him on Sunday. It looks like you will. Also, Paulson Adebo is out for the Saints on Sunday, which means you are, again, most likely going to have Marshawn Lattimore and Bradley Roby as your outside cornerbacks. Uh, Justin Evans did a really good job in the nickel roll in that slot last week. We'll see if you get Elante Taylor good to go this week. Um it's worth keeping an eye on the secondary. But part of what makes the the situation for the Saints secondary a little more um, maintainable or manageable is what's going on in Tampa. And Tampa's injury situation is a legit disadvantage for them right now. A Chris Godwin has been ruled out. Of course, very sad. Chris Godwin tore his ACL last year, Week 15 in New Orleans. He got himself ready to play in the opener against Dallas, and then he suffered a pretty severe hamstring injury, so he's out for this game. Donovan Smith, the left tackle, he is doubtful for the game. Hyperextended his left elbow. It was an ugly-looking injury, and it's unlikely he's going to be able to play. And even if he does, you're talking about a dude with a clipped wing trying to block Marcus Davenport. I mean, good luck. That's unenviable. Mike Evans was limited on Friday. He's questionable. Russell Gage was limited on Friday. He's questionable. Julio Jones was limited on Friday. He's questionable after not practicing the first two days this week. Rashad Perriman, Tristan Wirfs, Leonard Fournette, all questionable as well. And cornerback Zion McCollum is doubtful with a hamstring injury. Um, two new names on the injury list for the Bucs on Friday were linebacker Levante David and defensive tackle Akeem Hicks, neither practiced. They were listed as a rest designation. They were just given the day off, but you, they, of course, will be healthy enough to play on Sunday. Um, I, I don't think this is any great secret, but I really like New Orleans in this game. Uh, we joked about this last year. I, well, I don't know if we joked about it. I mean, you were very much on Tampa. Yes. And even in the Sunday night game, uh, when the Saints won it nine to nothing, I told you the Saints were going to win that game, and you laughed at me. Uh, sometimes in the NFL, matchups are a problem. Sometimes teams, the way a team is built, gives another team a problem based on that matchup. It's the old adage that styles make fights. Tampa has not won in New Orleans since December thirty first of twenty seventeen. Mm. 
That's been it's been almost five years since Tampa's won a game in New Orleans. Now, part of that is there was a stretch where Tampa wasn't very good and the Saints were very good. But we all know the stat. Tom Brady, the last two years, has not beaten the Saints in the regular season. And a big part of that is because of the styles of these two teams. The way you affect Tom Brady is by pressuring him. Up the middle or the edges, you get Tom Brady off of his spot, and you can affect you can affect him. So I look at Tampa's offensive line. You lose Ryan Jensen, the starting center for the season. That's a big deal. Your starting left tackle, Donovan Smith, is likely not going to play. That's a big deal. Your starting right tackle, Tristan Wirfs, is injured with an abdominal issue, and he was limited all week, and he's questionable for the game, although I think he's going to play. You replace both of your starting guards from last year, this year, and one of your replacements is injured. Now we are on your backup, so we're like your third guy. That's a bad offensive line going against a Saints defensive front, which is specialized in affecting Tom Brady. And Leonard Fournette last year, his two games against New Orleans, nine carries for 34 yards, eight carries for 26 yards. With a good offensive Mm -hmm. line. Now he has a bad offensive line. And then you look at all of the offensive weapons that I just talked about. Chris Godwin is out. Julio's been limited with a knee. Missed two days of practice this week. Russell Gage has been limited. This is a... Mike Evans has been limited. And Marshawn Lattimore has owned Mike Evans in this matchup. Everything about this points to the Saints. Yes, it's true the Saints offense struggled for three quarters against Atlanta last week. I mean, they actually started okay and then really hit the skids after the doink. But what you saw in the fourth quarter is what this offense is capable of. When Jameis is in rhythm with those receivers, they're tough to handle. I mean, they exploded in that fourth quarter, and they're capable of doing that at any point. And if you're going to tell me this is a Tampa team that, with all due respect to Tom Brady, he's the greatest player ever, I look at the matchup, which has favored the Saints, the venue where Tampa hasn't won in five years. It's the old ads like, yeah, you bet a streak until you lose because you're going to win a whole bunch and you're only going to lose once. I don't know how you go against New Orleans in this game at home with the advantages they've had, the matchups at Dennis Allen, the problems they've created for Tom Brady throughout the years. If there's one thing I would say that's maybe a little concerning, the secondary from a year ago that really affected Tom Brady is not there. I mean, your two safeties have retired, or retired and you lost one in, in free agency, Marcus Williams. But you bring in Tyron Matthew and Marcus May, who are both really good players. Chauncey Garner johnsons now in Philly, so your nickel is probably going to be Justin Evans, or maybe Elante Taylor, we'll see. Paulson Adebo is is out for this game, so Bradley Roby's going to be filling one of those spots. So you, you're talking about a little bit of a different secondary than what you had playing a year ago, but the pressure of the Saints' front seven is being able to get, get against Tom Brady, I think, is enough. And I, I like the Saints, and I like the Saints easily in this game. I'm going to pick New Orleans 30-21 to 21 in this ballgame. I think they win it, win it by, by nine. 30, did you, did you not 21. watch the game last week, the Saints game last week? Did you watch Tampa against Dallas? Giving up, giving up major rushing yards to an average offensive line in an okay running back? It's not even about the okay running back. It's about matchups, what I just talked about. Marcus Mariota, a running, quarter, running quarterbacks, have given the Saints defense problems. That's, that's just the thing. Jalen Hurts torched the Saints defense. The Saints have been a top... The Saints have been a top... Five, six defense in the NFL since Dennis Allen's been here. But when they go against Jalen Hurts, when they went against Cam Newton or Lamar Jackson, when they go against a mobile quarterback, they struggle. I'm not even talking about the mobile quarterback but as that's much as I am Cordell but, Patterson. But that's, what open, but that's what opens everything up, is when you have to respect the quarterback's ability to run. That's what's happened. I mean, look, we've seen it with LSU and Jaden Daniels. Like That's what's opened up the offense, and that's a problem for New Orleans. And Tom Brady ain't doing that. Tom is sitting back in the pocket looking to pick you apart with timing routes. And if you move him off his spot or get a hand in his face, or deflect balls, or have tight coverage on receivers, or disrupt their rhythm in their routes. And the Saints have just been able to do that until they prove, until Tampa proves they can beat that. I I, I can't pick Tampa. So I'm picking the Saints. I think the Saints win it and win it easily. I think it's a 30-21 to ball game. Do you want to make a pick? Yeah. I think the I would hundred percent pick the Bucks. You know that if they had any receivers that were any good. Um, but since Gage is hurt and Godwin's hurt too, I'm going to pick the Saints. Although I think it's going to be a close game. Um, I don't like the Saints' offense a whole lot right now. Mm. But give me uh, g- give me the Saints, uh, twenty four to thirteen. 
So you think Tampa only scores 13 points? They're not going to score a whole lot. Okay. Yeah. By the way, you just picked the Saints by a larger margin than yeah. I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Saints are going to win. Okay. I think they're going to win. I mean, the Bucks don't have any receivers. Okay. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.